Guardians saving their counter pick for Licorice, and he throws down the Fiora into it. Ooh. So they will have spread map pressure. Traded across the map, Golden Guardians picking up this first dragon for themselves. And then all the while inspired working to finish off, not just with JoJo, we've seen Vikla play as well. And oh, oh, man. Oh, oh, there's no! the land and the stun up. JoJo's hopping in right now, trying to make use of that Tristana, using the Buster Shot into the rest of the team. And that one is clean. Finish off with a kill for JoJo. But the proactivity of him working Boink. out so far with another land here from Vulcan and following up with Inspire throwing out the ult. And there are a couple roots onto multiple members, which means an immediately blast of who he, Golden Guardian. But Evil Geniuses, look at those cooldowns. Oh. Ash Arrow and Malkay Ultimate have just come off cooldown. They're going for it again. Golden Guardians have to be scared of that. And there's Maokai ult right here. Gets a root onto River. But in the end, Golden Guardians were postured for Dragon. Top side of the map, too. Golden Guardians are taking this bottom turret. But EG are making a top side play towards Licorice with four arrow fired here by Vulcan because he knows it'll just get reposted. And another calm, collected play here from Evil Geniuses. Give them a little bit of pause, at least. Uh, you know, the AD carry is trying to worry about some flanks. Licorice, though, under attack. And this time walking right into the oh, arrow. Yeah. Not in line for Jinx, but in line for the slams from Someday and JoJo. Rocket jump forward, last auto to do it. Posturing as Golden Guardians wrap around through jungle to get the angle onto the dragon. They know they have the tools to get in there to try and attempt to steal if they want, but now are worried about the poke being thrown by Evil Geniuses. Vulcan Mark low wow. with Someday zoning off river. They try to turn towards dragon and have to be wary of the teleport on the backside. Getting the root onto River, Licorice wrapping around. Inspired does he see him? Joins the jungler. The soul laner put in some work. Gory getting a kill. It's Golden Guardians throwing back on oh. the fight. Three of them taken away. Onto the dragon they go. Someday and Inspired can't do it. And onto the Baron. No Cassante ultimate. No nothing here for EG. If they managed to do anything, it would be a miracle. And that arrow was thrown out for mostly vision because of the timing before anyone can come through. Not the eye kind of walks into the Wukong, finished off with a bunch of extra rocket damage there from Huhi, and able to follow it up. So mass already. What an advantage they have swung towards their favor, evening out the gold for a moment before a slight build of Evil Genius, a map to safely move through, and a lot of fear for the push that Golden Guardians can have. Now executing across this mid turret, Inspired wanted to slow it down, but Golden Guardians keep they up. They will be able to get the turret up on topside in advance of the dragon spawning, but that should be it. How he really tackles the game from that competitive angle and being a condition for evil geniuses right now to keep up that pressure on the turrets because look, Baron. there's the arrow coming through, not hit by anyone. Inspired Golden Guardians flash. with two roots from Inspire. The teleport coming in from EG as well. Talia wall gone to separate. River going in with a cyclone someday over the wall. A big blast of damage onto FBI who's zoned out. Stun and lock. Vulcan's out of it. Huhi next to fall and they're shut down onto JoJo. Golden Guardians turning onto the damage output of EG and taking it away. It's a triple kill for Stixay. What are you gonna do when Golden Guardians take control of the play? EG running away at the work that GG's been putting forward. And I think this is his retreat for the for the Baron here. They split push on bottom side. All they have to do is block the rocket, block the rocket here. They finish up the Baron, but Ligra's splitting on bottom side while the rest of Golden Guardians with so much nice. damage. It's nice to see. Him doing really well yet again, and Golden Guardians fighting their way here through playoffs. Things I feel about players like Stixay that have been around for quite some time have these picks that remind you of previous peaks in games and bringing it down to the present. And there you see JoJo trying to get an objective bounty on the Tristana. He gets it. EG still fighting, still trying to use the Demolitionist as best they can with the split push. Does get the recall there from Licorice. So still pretty far behind the curve here, EG. Golden Guardians looking for the Hot kill block. around EG going in for it. River Cycloning in, in the wall to have some separation. Going into stasis, JoJo keeps himself alive for a temporary amount of time. Stick A popping off at it again. Lippers going into the back line to get the double kill here. It's a good play. It's an ace for Golden Guardians. And it's the game for Golden Guardians. Game number one already. Golden Guardians, massive stuff here. They give Licorice the counter pick again. They're rolling off of that confidence over the 100 Thieves win. Woo, lot, Golden 
Golden Guardians a statement in game number one. Now GG with their last lock in yeah. of the they draft. Did it. Yeah. They did it. They rotated it down to Stixe. Stixe and Huhi. Tristana rail kill bottom lane. I, Marked low by that guy's Joe. going in. Vulcan. Oh. Vulcan might lose River that here. Moments. Oh, he might even back. die. Flashing, rooted, knocked up over the wall. Stixe goes. FBI trying to get some burst fire in, but Vulcan, first blood drop. Vulcan really walks so right, right into a trap. Oh my gosh. Oh, and then he's going to get a flash here. Okay, he flashes oh. this. Charma tempted Jojo. One more slam to do it. River. Uh, I thought their bot lane is performing very well, but game one, uh, Stixe and Puhi did very well. Is it? Yeah. Gorius flash. Strength of those bot lanes and beyond comes into effect around this dragon play. River taking the brunt of the damage, and Jojo goes in with some Foxfire. Some stopping thrown down. There's a rocket jump in. E on to Inspire. Gonna blast soon, and there's a kill. Who he gets the credit of it on to FBI. And the pursuit is strong. Stick say staying alive and lock on to Jojo. Oh. Support oh. more separate through mid lane. Who's the next oh. Jojo is had. Good old go from here. <laughs> If Golden Guardians decides to fight this, I think it can be good for them. Gory's pretty far in mid lane though, so yeah, I guess they, they just probably give. give. Yeah. That like W, yeah. very annoying for Vi to deal with, so uh, I think that's a little bit of uh, extra time there will be afforded to a Golden Guardians bottom side play. They're yeah, controlling them very well. Even if they yeah. get Ariel to here. Jojo so good. trying to dash away with the ult, but there's too many members of GG. Stick say with the kill credit on to that, Like these guys didn't think we have to just kill him. Yeah, I mean, Vi's topside towards a like Gwen matchup where it's it's really hard to make anything it's happen. Ahead. Only targets that Vi can kill is Tristana, and you don't want to be ulting Tristana. There we go. Okay, that's trying to kill Gwen here. Yeah, Licorice the focus now, Inspired knocking back and this even committing deal. the ultimate to ensure. It's looking very dominant for Golden Guardians, so they are definitely feeling themselves right now. Yeah, look at definitely this place. Definitely feeling for themselves. Very place. Yep. Very good. Burning him down, committing for the kill onto FBI across mid lane and the rotation from Golden Guardians to try to offset the pressure of EG on the top side. Corey going in for it onto Jojo, Orb doing damage, hook from okay. Vulcan to bring him in, but over the go. wall we go. Inspired to follow Gory, looking to fall in a moment's time, but does delay it long enough. Jojo getting hit. Yeah, yeah that's what and I was they, And they're getting top, uh, both tier two for Grant. This is huge. I would not be surprised. Look at these three objectives. Actually, that are up immediately there. hard CC onto her, getting killed, and the rewards are big. I mean, maybe it doesn't look that bad, but Golden Guardians, Vance Meat, dives. Offer their services on the top side, though, to take down this turret. JoJo putting in the last work to finish it off. So, Evil Geniuses getting their first turret of the game, actually, though. Golden Guardians have had such control. Yeah, and the only reason they got that turret is because Golden Guardians are picking up Dragon and taking two mid. At now they're gonna go at, second turret. Yeah. At least two here. Herald Charge plus Tristana. They're yeah, playing the map very well, and they're not leaving any room for EG to breathe. Oh, Stixe going in. River trying to behind. initiate double TP from both sides. Jojo coming in with a dash. A Rue onto Licorice, but Stixe is over the wall, wanting to finish off someday. But Inspired and Jojo have to back off with the remaining members of Evil Geniuses. They are down to Jojo's charm does not connect. So GG, just a couple hanging out, just having a good time, waiting for this wave to come up alongside River with a charge here on the Rift Herald again to blast through the inhibitor turret. Easily get picked. And Golden Guardians keeping up the pressure over on top side with four members and Licorice teleport at the ready. Matched by Inspired and Someday throws down the needlework. There's the charged up Q to try and slam down. The all miss, not enough to keep him protected, but that's a lot of soaking up of HP and some damage ditched back, but can't finish it off. All the while, Golden Guardians, oh. he's looking for the angles. They know he has no vision. River. They know they have no vision. He wants to go. Multiple control. Yeah. There he goes. Who you with the play and the jump in to follow? HP bars for EG. They ain't got no FBI to hold up the mantle for them. Licorice getting the kill onto Vulcan and Jojo zoned out by Gory. It's Guardians have had and have to remain around to see if they can make some kind of face at Golden Guardians. Jojo being careful of Gory. 
Inspired making his way from mid. You can see Vulcan trying to make it as close as he can to the team as possible in case a fight breaks out immediately. Out of Golden Guardians catching every possible entry of the opposition. Inspired now sought out by River and Lingerish who walk down. Maokai ultimate coming through. Golden Guardians want to try and turn this towards the isolated pick. Flash away from Inspired creating as much distance as he possibly can. But there's two Golden Guardians on him. The rest of Golden Guardians still focusing on that bot side. They still have the buff available and want to get that value for members of Evil Geniuses to offset them on bot, but they have some support for Golden Guardians oh, yeah. coming on through. Yeah, through he, another monstrous engage for he and the rest of the squad as Golden Guardians with the Lockdown River way downtown with the pursuit onto FBI and Vulcan. Vulcan, a teeny tiny bit of HP to his name. That one little sapling blow would do it, but don't even have to reach just yet. Oh. Someday, completely yeah. zoned up by Hui River. Just wants to get the kill and finally feels the thrill of it. Who he risking going low but cannot die because guess what? It's Golden Guardians out on top in the fight, out on top in the series so far. What a game for them as they knock, knock, knock on the Nexus door of Evil Geniuses for a second time. Touch the Golden Guardians, that thing very well. Ah, Rumble Amumu. Okay. Thoughts with Alessandra now? Who do you think has won the draft? And you know, just I'll go to you closer for this. I, I like EG's draft more, to be honest. Yeah. I think they have a good yeah. Secured with the rotation from Stixe and Huhi into this bot side jungle, you can see uh, the warding from EG's side kind of remaining at the line of scrimmage. So, so much for that tool. Inspired, though, is going to go in, start up this red buff seal. Oh, there's the lock from oh. Tristana going in, knock away, stun onto Inspired, but Inspired even with the wild growth, still has an ADC on his back, Stixay throwing out the autos onto Vulcan, Inspired by FBI has made his way through with the Ultra Shock laser, Stixay flashing away, ult already utilized, not much escape tools available, and there's first blood for FBI, wanting to continue the onslaught, Polymorph onto who he Inspired gets the credit for the second kill, it's the two for one trade across so far, River and Licorice on the top side now isolating someday under the turret. We went from nothing to so the dive is used bottom for the Tristana. Aw, lock on to Gory. Jojo and Inspired are Got going flash. for it, but they just want to keep him off of it because dropping that Rift Herald on the bot side is where most attention is drawn by these two. A stun onto FBI and Vulcan, but ultimate activated by FBI. River in the vicinity yeah. are looking to do so. I love the Tristana disengage ability at versus Zeri. Now FBI in trouble. Oh, there's a lock. FBI just surrounded by Golden Guardians, and this is a tie it up one to one on the Dragon scoreboard. But all the while, the solo action along mid continues. Jojo flashing out of the way of Gory was one into. The other big thing about Rumble, uh, this ultimate is so good because it's a very low cooldown and can annihilate minion waves. So they make the rotation to the top side, but no, he's gonna give it all away now. It's gonna die. Oh no, Vulcan inspired. <laughs> Your polymorph licorice can't escape. Knows he's not long for this world. Keeps him away on that turret for some time, but now they do have that wave to be able to finish it off. Ah, oh, he he got the teleported down, he got the minion wave, but then went back in over the wall. Sweeper for EG finds him. Gory trying to Fish around for each team, a dragon for each team. EG looking for another kill to put on the scoreboard. Frozen Tomb onto who he used, and that is a dead, dead move. But didn't have enough existing friends on his side in that regard. But just the gold, as you said, licorice. Here with Someday once again, teleport by EG over the wall. Someday going for the initiation with the unstoppable and Licorice still trying to escape. Throws down the equalizer to slow down Jojo and Someday by enough time for Huhi to come through. Stixay also in Fighting into the darkness here. You're against the Malachi ultimate, into a Mumu ultimate and Rumble. There's just too much AOE there from Golden Guardians to ever try and face check them. A little bit too dangerous. And so Rift Trail towards mid doesn't even have to lose health oh. on the first tower. So they will get a second tower charge off. And Golden Guardians, oh, they managed to find Jojo when he was attempting to join the rest of EG. So as he retreats towards the turret, escaping. Again, no flash. Lissandra really benefits from having flash. Uh, being that set up champion that wants to lock people down for the Viego, for the Zeri there. So not only do Golden Guardians get mid tower off the Rift Herald, plus the dragon here, they also get the flash down on one of the playmakers from Evil Geniuses. And EG finally uh, do the real, real threat here. But uh, Golden Guardians, they call it. 
EG back off. Teleport at the ready, but could be matched by Licorice. Oh, Jojo blasted. Licorice does so much damage. Teleport from someday. So you get additional resources in that teleport, as well as the damage onto Jojo as Golden Guardians can focus on to the Baron. Licorice now teleports in. Inspired, looking for an angle to get in there, but can't find it. Isolated, Gory <laughs> takes him out. And on the Baron, Jojo wants to go for it, but the security of River gets the Baron buff for Golden Guardians. EG can't find it. Teleports up to the team that's already on Baron, and he immediately runs at Inspired. I didn't expect every member of Golden Guardians to leave the pit and leave River alone in the pit, but they all were just making sure that they were going to track down Inspired. Everything played out. Licorice managing to put that pressure onto Jojo, get to the fight quickly, and now Golden Guardians with that Red Bull Baron buff can continue this pressure over in this bot pit. Yeah, Guardians transformation. Massive stuff here for them in playoffs. That turret doesn't stand a chance. Baron empowered 4 1 split. Point. An amazing one as they take another dragon to secure that soul. That, yes, it is still a soul and still something that they can work with here. To get a couple roots and does manage to do so to set up the oh. equalizer. And look at how heavy that Jurtsana hits. Also, should be able to burn this turret and even burn the golden from Jojo as he has to E back into the fountain. And Gory keeping up the pressure on that mid turret so they can get multiple inhibitors at the threat right now. Finish off on the bot side, inspired. Once to even give an opening for EG. And with Soul with a five and a half thousand gold lead here, they're just shoving up mid. EG are trying to make a pick play on top side, but they even know. Oh, and Gory trying to stop the backs here alongside River. They target FBI, goes into ultimate, but it's answered by lockdown. A teleport in from Evil Geniuses keeps River and Gory separated into the jungle. Who he sticks a and Licorice ready to zone off the remaining members of EG making their way through that top side. Jojo ready to join from mid. And the mid tower is already killed now. Sticks a over the wall again, lands an E, can't charge it up because Jojo goes towards the base to heal, but that's the second inhibitor taken down by Gory. Golden Guardians, the pressure is good, good, good from the GG side. Yep, the map is theirs. Two now lines up. With wards to try and take over River again with Vision. The teleport in and Hui going for the play. Multiple suns and the equalizer across Evil Geniuses. Inspired goes golden, but so does Hui. And Vulcan separated by Gory Jojo. That's going to be a blast. Almost hits on his head, but the Frozen Tune keeps him into it. River wants to finish him off. That's an A. Evil geniuses are dead. Golden Guardians changing the tide of what everyone believes that they can do. Oh my, nothing left but the Nexus turrets. Just one more Nexus for Golden Guardians to take to make a statement, not just on this day, but of this season. GG's resolve holds strong, punching their tickets to North Carolina, playing finals weekend for the first time. When did you make that sign? Hello, and welcome to the Verizon Post Game interview. I have Licorice, Stix A, and Huhi. First of all, congratulations. You're going, you. to you're going to finals weekend. Um, do you have anything to say to everyone who doubted you, including me, who thought you would lose 3-1 to EG? <laughs> I take my L's, I'm just saying. I mean, I think our video says it, you know, like the, <laughs> the few videos. Yeah, we need the hats back. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Someone needs to give us a hat. Really proud that we're uh, going to the finals weekend, especially in uh, our manager's hometown. And I'm really proud how everyone played on the, my team. Um, one thing I did, uh, we can start with game three. I thought your drafting was really interesting across all three games. Um, but game three, I did want to talk about the Rumble pick because one of the hallmarks of GG's kind of rise through the lower bracket has been these counter picks that you've had topside or picks that you've been super comfortable on. So just talk to me about the strength of Rumble, especially since his recent buffs. Yeah, I mean, Rumble's pretty strong right now. And then also he blinded Malphite because he didn't expect me to pick Rumble because that is like probably the worst matchup that Malphite has in the entire game. Um, so like unfortunate for someday and like the lane was really easy. We pressured him a lot with jungle and then I was actually scaling really well through the game and it just felt pretty easy. Okay. Um, how did you guys approach draft generally? Because you seem to have, I guess, if not uh, 
stayed ahead of EG. You had some really interesting and creative things that popped up today. Uh, yeah, I mean, Tristana is like the obvious one that we're flexing. I don't think anyone else is playing Tristana, AD carry. Um, we kind of just came into this week thinking that we should have maybe some special special picks, you know, that people aren't going to expect. Uh, a lot of times in scrims, we would pick Tristana, and then the enemy would respond with like a mid uh, pick, and then we would just counter the mid pick, and they're like, oh, they can send Tristana bottom. So <laughs> in general, I just thought uh, Tristana was good versus Zeri, So. Okay. How how do you how does that matchup go? Just talk to me through it. I mean, most of the Zeri lanes are just, you're just farming, hitting the wave. Mm -hmm. Like, you're not really interacting with Zeri. And I just think Tristana scales really well. And uh, luckily, I have Jay, who's really good at these engaged supports. So it goes re uh, really well with Tristana. Are engaged supports back? Hope so. Same. <laughs> um, looking ahead, I wanted to ask you guys what you think you've improved on the most as a team as you've gone through the lower bracket. So I don't know, what, I don't know who wants to start first, but I'm going to ask every single one of you the same question. The one thing that we improved the most? Mm -hmm. um, I think just overall, like being consistent on stage, because I think we had a lot of uh, death by the junglers and not using like our words properly and mm -hmm. kind of dying silly. Um, and I think by fixing that, our early game became like really stable and we have the river I think who I think is the best jungler in the LCS. Uh, so it gives him a lot of room to do whatever he wants. Okay. <laughs> Someone in the audience agrees with you. Um, yeah, I mean, pretty much what he said. I honestly, even I'm really surprised today about how the games went. I think like today, for whatever reason, we just clicked really well. Uh, we're looking out for each other in the games. We're playing very disciplined. You know, we know we pretty much just play around where River's pathing. And I think we did a pretty good job of it. So. Yeah, I mean, I have to agree with Jay. It's just not dying to the enemy jungler because like jungle is just so OP. Like, <laughs> as soon as junglers we stop dying to the jungler, like our games suddenly look ten times better. So I, I think that's mostly it. Um, as a unit, I know you guys joked around about how it was Huhi, Gori, and River kind of banding together, talking Korean, then giving you guys direction. Is that still how your comms work, or has it become more holistic communication? That's more of the review process, actually. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but on stage, I think everyone just talks like everyone has their voice, and I think I don't I don't think we like really have one main shot caller. I mean, like if it's anyone, it's Jay. But I think everyone contributes a fair amount. You're shaking your head. Why is that? <laughs> no, because I think everyone knows how the game plan is, and okay. everyone like calls really well when they're clicking. Did you know that today you? With this series, you become the player with, who's played the most LCS, the seventh most LCS games of all time. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Between, between your time as a mid laner and as a support. Hey. Um, I know, like, players, I remember when telling Bjergsen he had got the most games of all time. He had no idea. I assume you had no idea. Yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> but congratulations. Thank you. Um, you also did take out every single one of your ex-teammates. Yeah, <laughs> I did. Um, how does that feel? Um, I mean, I'm happy that I'm doing well, obviously, but uh, I feel I feel like bad as well for them. Um, and especially today with FBI, I made a, like a special deal: the winner will buy the loser the dinner, so that we're like less sad. So, Vic, <laughs> dinner is on me. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. Um, looking ahead to finals weekend, I guess, what is this week of prep going to look like for you guys? Just keep doing what we've been doing. <laughs> I think just, yeah, don't add anything too crazy. Just keep doing what we've been doing. I think we'll be okay. All right. Um, what do you think is the largest takeaway you can come, like, that can come from this series specifically? Uh, draft is OP. <laughs> in all honesty though uh red side like i remember joking with you on stage about like oh you finally got the red side win in your last series yeah. red side became actually super important in this series so how do you think you guys have exploited the the strengths of red side and would you consider yourself a stronger red side or blue side team i think we're i think we're a pretty strong red side team right now i'm not sure if we're like better than on blue side but i mean the strength of red side is always flex picks and if like we were picking Cassante early, and it just makes draft really simple on red side right now. Um, so yeah. All right, going up against FlyQuest, who wins? Us. What's, what's the score? 
I, I mean, I was actually more nervous for this match than FlyQuest. I think we're going to have a lot easier time for FlyQuest. <laughs> All right. No, that's actually been a trend, though, right? Because C9 said the same thing. They were like, we're more scared of, of uh, EG than FlyQuest. What? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, River also apparently tweeted that 100 Thieves was harder than EG. So I don't know if you guys agree with that either. Um, yeah, I mean, our 100 Thieves match was a lot closer. I think it was more like back and forth. Mm -hmm. uh, this game, I think most of ga uh, all three games, we had the lead. And then I think when we have a lead, we're a really dominant team. Mm -hmm. So yeah, today's game definitely felt not that hard. All right. Well, I've kept you guys here long enough. Go out, celebrate, buy Victor dinner. Uh, I will send it back to Kobe and Jat for this or that. Hello and welcome back to This or That with Kobe and Jat presented by Verizon. 3-0, just as expected, right? We're hot off of the Golden Guardians victory. This was a very fast week. Yes, it was. Very fast. 3-0-3-0? I think evil geniuses did their part. To make it fast, this is true. <laughs> they did make it fast. They certainly did. All right, let's get to the slides on this or that. Kobe Jat, slide number one. More surprising, Ooh. Golden Guardians 3-0, or literally anything else that happened this split. <laughs> So okay, there were a lot one. of things that tough were, one. Yeah, there were a lot of surprising things that happened to split, right? I don't know. I still have stuff playing so, in my ear right now. Listen, Golden Guardians 3-0, based on what they had done throughout the season, when we were generally at times calling them like the third or fourth best team in the league, to now be guaranteed top three is actually not as surprising as Dig going three and fifteen or Team Liquid missing playoffs. This one was pretty big. I think a lot of people had high expectations for Team Liquid when they came out at the beginning of the season talking about we're going to outwork everyone, we're going to import all of these world champions. We got world yeah. champion coach, world champion Champions jungle, support, world champion jungle, support, everywhere. And, eighth and, place. Yeah, yeah, eighth place. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's your don't make playoffs stand. Yeah. <laughs> but the the, the dinner toss one was also super yeah. surprising so uh, i i would i would say this because we get to play the field to get get all of the answers yeah i agree it's that slide number two on this or that <laughs> which drafts do you like more this weekend cloud nine drafts or gg drafts Ooh. Ooh. i mean the flex picks i was also i was really happy that i called the tristana flex into bottom so that made me feel good mm -hmm. i'm biased so I, I'm called, gonna, I called the people i'm gonna go with this one i just wasn't on air so okay <laughs> i am just seeing the Golden Guardians drafts today, they felt amazing. It felt like they had a huge advantage also, in every game. Nobody, nobody but even I'm, pulling out Rumble. Here's a question. They were better because they were a bigger gap between their opponent. Are these good drafts in isolation? Because like, for instance, just Varus Heimer. Okay, quick switch to Varus Soraka. Okay, now you get to see Berserkers of Felios. These are all very good drafts. They're both utilizing Cassante Flex. Technically, they're both utilizing Tristana Flex. But I still have to say Golden Guardians drafts. It's for sure. Yeah. It's for okay, sure. These fine. Way more yeah. creative. Yeah. We way spent more too flexes. long. It's easy. Simple. Done. It's that. <laughs> good, good, good. He realized now yeah. that I'm correct. correct. Yeah. Most over-prioritized champion in playoffs. This is a YouTube Ooh. question from the comments from Chris. Uh, is it Jinx or is it Vi? Now, it's funny because Vi kills Jinx and makes it You didn't over, even read the middle one, did you? Over-prioritized. There's a Scion right there. I think Scion's He's good. Bit. Yeah, I think Scion's good. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, for, for me, it's, be it's between these two. Sometimes teams, they over-index a little bit. I think early picking Vi before mm. you see something that you need to Vi ult and before you, uh, you know, they don't go necessarily all engaged with the Vi. Yeah. Then it's bad because your opponents can get counter-engaged because, because you show it too early. But the Jinx, I actually think is really good right now. Oh. And it's a little bit of a bait that we saw it get killed so much. I think it's actually still really powerful. And we'll so that what is your time. answer? Because you just talked about the positivity of all the champions. I'm going to see Jinx because I think teams are picking it too early, mm. which means it's getting over-prioritized. Yes, all right, you sold me. <laughs> that was really now, easy. this one, I'm, yeah. I'm jumping over that one, but I do think Jinx is is powerful right now. Yeah, but yes, okay. you don't pick it too early. Easy, sign number four. All right, next one. Let's get to it. Better magazine model. These were amazing, by the way, these Photoshop 